you guys. We finally made it to SEMA. Easily, easily. The Super Bowl of car shows. The dopest cars, the dopest designers are all here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Car Ballet. <laughs> and the smoke kind of gives me a high. I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah, 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 the smoke, dude. Do you smell oil? Do you remember when gas used to have a distinct, wonderful smell? Yeah. When we was little, when you good gas used to you smell. You sit in the car seat and you wonder why you nodding off? Right, 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 yeah. <laughs> man, I love that smell, oh, but suddenly man. I'm dizzy. And that, seeing dead relatives, Uncle Junior. I, Jr., is I that used to you? wonder why my mom used to take me on those rides that make me go to sleep. Oh yeah, man. That damn gasoline, man. There was a damn gas seeping through the the, the, <laughs> the, the, the bad grommets in the gas tank. <laughs> there you have it. There are certain cars, you know, when they got to a certain year where they were no longer that car. Yeah, yeah they got instance, stuck. Like uh, what the Monte Carlo turned into. Right. You know, what the Apollo turned into later on. What in, the late 60s four-door Thunderbird turned into. What the Mercury Cooper turned into after, you know, the late 70s. The, the Charlie's Angels Mustang. Yeah. That thing was fucking butt ugly. Now, you did call it a 66. I did. But I got to add one little correction. Okay. Unless it has a swapped-in clip from a 67, this is a 67, the way you know. Look at the rake on the headlight. Oh. 66 is a little bit more... Okay, but Vertical. the tail lights and the rear end are the same. Same. Okay, and a lot of that's typical of people in the. Yeah, front. but you know, in your defense, this could be a '66 with a '67 front. Okay, makes sense. Kind of like a Chevelle. Exactly. I was talking to some. Uh, I was standing here marveling at this car that Herc was talking about a few minutes ago, and Joe hooked us up with the knowledge about the gear of the car. These two fine gentlemen I was with somehow have the idea that I know what the <laughs> and I don't. The primer we use is special to acid etched primer. So on the raw metal, it bites into the metal. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then so when we spray the adhesive promoter, the uh, Raptor underneath, that will bite into that, any shake coming off. That's why it takes so long. We had to go down all the way down to bare metal because over the years, the grime, the oil, Mm -hmm. Shit that sits into the metal, mm -hmm. if you just coat over it over time, that shit it'll will come back, back out. It'll seep back out. So, uh, how was that ride with Sean, man? How was that ride, man? Wait, wait, hold on, let me step over here so I can hear you. Y you got reception? I got reception now. That ride was fantastic, dude. It's a time capsule. I felt like I should have been talking on a brake phone. It was amazing. Hold you got right. another call? I had a call. Hold on. Hey. Hey. What you mean you lost two keys? Excuse me. Two keys. How did you, how did you lose the garage key and the front door key? Put your mom on the phone. 